PKS 1302-102 is one of the few known quasars with a pair of black holes within its accretion disk. It is also a curious case for astronomers as it will produce a powerful explosion when these two black holes merge. The scientists trying to determine the scale of this merger estimate that it could result in an enormous release of energy. The quasar is in its final phase of the merging process. It could help us predict what the final stages of a black hole merger look like or how long the process might take. This is the so-called final parsec problem, yet unsolved, as all theoretical models failed to explain the process. Graham and his colleagues at Caltech, using the Catalina Real-Time Transient Survey, detected a strong, smooth periodic signal when observing PKS 1302-102 in optical and infrared light. Periodic signal was something that scientists haven't seen before in a quasar, so they suggest that it means the presence of a pair of supermassive black holes. In January 2015, we reported the detection of a five-year periodic signal in 20 years of optical data from PG-1302-102 in Nature. We offered a number of possible physical mechanisms but they all required a supermassive black hole binary as the basic hypothesis, Graham explained. He revealed that a number of subsequent papers have come out this year supporting their interpretation of the data. For example, a recent Nature paper from Dorazio, Hyman, and Skymanovich, where they found ultraviolet periodicity in archival data, suggesting that the relativistic motion of the two orbiting black holes is causing the periodic signal. As we wait for the outcome of the merger of two supermassive black holes in PKS 1302-102, the scientists calculate that it has already happened. That's because the quasar is located approximately 3.5 billion light-years from Earth and they estimate that the merger took place about 3.39 billion years ago. If so, the light from that event will arrive here in at least 100 million years.